Welcome, welcome back, and I need help at Cisco. In this example, we need to find A and B such that this function is continuous on the entire real number. So, for that reason, the only values you want to look at are this one, 1 and 1. This is one moment where we, have, we can have a discontinuity, and 3 and 3. But of course, don't forget we want to be continuous. So, let's see how we use this. Uh, statement we have here. So we're going to start with 1, x equals 1, and we're going to write limit when x approach 1 from the left side, so 1 minus f of x. Let's calculate this limit, and for that reason I'm going to use the first piece of the piecewise function because it shows us number less than 1, and I'm going to replace x with 1, so I have 2 times 1 plus 1, and that will be 3. The limit when x approach to 1 from the left side, 1 minus, is 3. Let's do the limit when x approach from the other side of 1, 1 plus, so from the right side of f of x. So that will give us uh, the second piece of the piecewise function, ax plus b. We're going to replace x of 1, and we're going to have a times 1 plus b, which is a plus b. Now, these two needs to be equal. So, a plus b equals 3, because we want the function to be continuous. So, that is one equation. We can move to the second one, the second part, and for that reason, we're going to use x equals 3. I'm going to use the same approach, limit, when x approach to 3 minus of f of x. And that will be limit when x approach to 3 minus value less than 3. So that will be ax plus b, that piece of the piecewise function. And if we replace x with 3, we're going to end up with uh, 3a plus b. When I go from the other side of 3, from the right side, I end up with limit on x approach 3 plus of x squared, the last piece of the piecewise function, and that becomes uh, 9. And these two needs to be equals. And now we have a system of equation here, 3a plus b equals 9, and a plus b, the first equation, equals 3. I will subtract them, and I have here 2a equals 6, which is going to give me a equals 3, so that's the first value. And for b, I can use any equation, but I'm going to use a plus b equals 3, and since a is 3, B should be 0. So that's it. These are the value of A and B. You can replace them here and use a graphing calculator or any other utility. This is the picture that goes with uh, this piecewise function. If you replace A with 3 and B with 0, and you see this function is continuous on the entire real line. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.